Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act Two. And with us today is Stephen Campbell, the Brain Whisperer, and my Hello. wonderful partner, John Coleman. Hey, Steve. Good to see you. Hello. Good to see you again, Saul. It's good to see you. Steve, um, viva la différence. <laughs> the difference between men and women. My mother gave me that phrase as a little kid. Mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. would say, well, you know, I don't understand this. I understand. Viva la différence. Mm -hmm. Be happy that men and women are different, that boys different. and girls are different. Yeah. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. That's right. And, and That's right. you know, I, I've noticed in recent years there's a lot of people who have taken the attitude that all men and all women are all the same and that there's no difference. Mm -hmm. We're just people and we all ought to be equal in everything. And I yeah. think to myself, my only problem with the that kind of thinking is well, we are, we may be equal in many, many things, but we're different. That's right. Oh, you mean men, like men can't, men can't have babies. We act differently. Men yeah, can't have babies. Do. Yeah. Are you saying yeah. that's a difference? Yeah. That, that's a major oh, okay. difference. Can you imagine yeah. putting a, 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 Mary has said, imagine someone putting a basketball and trying to get it through your penis. For delivery, and I say, "Ooh, and that's yeah. what it's like." And she, I said, "Yeah, you're right. Ooh, I die." Yeah, and they don't. So there you go. So, as the brain whisperer, tell me why we are different. Okay. I mean, not physically, not babies. No. What, what, what is it about our brains that we really think differently? And we, and of course, if you think differently, you act differently. Mm -hmm. You know, and feel differently. Yeah. Well, first of all, realize that every single one of the 11 trillion cells that make us up, and, and that, that, that's a, a number that's, that really made up. They still don't know how many cells we really have. There is a difference in every single one of those cells in the DNA. There's, there's X, Y, and X, okay? So we're different. The difference starts even before you're born. Men, I hate to say this, but we began as females. You began as females. The default was female. When your brain was created, it was a female brain. And then around week seven, when your brain sensed that you had the XY chromosome making you a man, okay, the part in your female brain, remember you start female, the part in your female brain that's devoted to communication gets washed with testosterone. And testosterone is an aggressive trait. That happened before you were born. So you were born looking at toys above your crib, latching on to them. If you're a female, you latch on to people's eyes. You're interested in communicating. So you start as a female, as a communicator, and as a male, you start as a doer. So when you're doing something, you just want to get it done, and your wife wants to talk about it. That's not her fault. That's not your fault. That's just the way things are. Okay? Number two. Let's look at emotions and how they are communicated. Now, I'm going to simplify things here because when you read some books, they say there's really no left. There is a left and right, but it's really hard to well, da, da, da. So I'm going to use this teaching tool to help you understand this, okay? The left side of your brain is where the knowledge is. It's where that ability to communicate things are. Okay, so on the left side is where you communicate, you talk about. It. The right side is where you feel things. So the feelings sort of start on the right and the communication gets on the left. So to communicate your feelings, you have to go from the right to the left to get them communicated. Got it? Okay, now, to get from the left from the right to the left, you have to go over a bridge, which is called the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is made up of about 300,000 cells. Okay? So you feel something, starts on the right, 
goes over the bridge, and it gets communicated. Now hang on to your seats. Women have far more cells on that bridge than men do. Did you hear that? Say that again. When you feel something, it has to go over the bridge. There are far more cells that can be used to get over that bridge in women than there are in men. So I've been married for 50 years, and I was raised with nothing but sisters. And I have nothing but daughters, so I really am kind of, I have some experience with the female sex. When Mary feels something, or our daughters did, Abby and Sarah, whoosh, out it would come immediately. And they would express it. Because it got over that corpus callosum really, 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 really fast. When men feel something, it takes a lot longer to get to the right, left side to get communicated. So men say, when they feel something, hmm, I wonder where that came from. I wonder if that feeling is important. I wonder if I should communicate that with my wife or my children or my boss. Hmm. And they ruminate about it. That's why it drives women crazy. Mary was said to me before she really learned who I am and stuff, why don't you just tell me what you're feeling? What's wrong with you? And I would say to myself for years and years, yeah, there's something wrong with me. Why don't I just out on the field? And then when I learned this stuff, and I was able to come back to her, and I said, because, honey, I am wired differently. And I showed her a picture. And she looked at me and she said, oh, that answers a lot of questions. I'm not keeping it from you. It just takes me long to communicate it. And now in our marriage, she has said, that's all right. And I can't tell you how much it has helped us. Here's another way that we're different. Men are linear thinkers. Women are multitaskers. And I don't think you should be surprised when you say, say that. Men can basically do one thing at a time. So I write books. I paint. I do things. But if I'm doing them and Mary comes, and she doesn't do this anymore, but Mary comes along and said, you need to do this, you need to do that. I have to remind her, honey, I, am a, I can do one thing at a time. And I can't concentrate that if I'm concentrated on this. And over the years, she has said, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Mary, as a woman, can juggle 16 different things at once. So we had two daughters. She had a job as an elementary school principal, which means she had to do a lot of the stuff all together. And I helped her. I really did, but one thing at a time. And Mary was able to do all sorts of different things. And what helped us with our marriage is when we got to the point where we said, it's all right that we are different. Not only is it all right, but let's take advantage of that. Let's take advantage of how you're different from me. Then let's see what we can do to make that so much better. Wow. Now, is that easy? It really isn't. Because when you've been married for so long, you, you think it has to be this way and it has to be that way. And you need to open up yourself and say, okay, Mary's different from uh, what I am. And I'm different from her. Let's take advantage of that. So, example. 
One day I came down, and Mary looked at me and smiled and said, You see the wall? And I said, Yes. And she said, What do you think? And I said, What am I supposed to think? And she said, Don't you see the different color? I'm colorblind. <laughs> so I had to say, I really don't. And Mary said, but it's right there. And I said, I just don't see it. When we were younger, she would have gotten mad. You know what she did this time? She laughed. And she said, oh, that's right. You can't see this stuff. Or, I am a horrible house painter. I walk into a room with paint that's wet and I'll find every single spot and walk out of the room with my shirt completely ruined. So one time she said, don't walk into the small bathroom because I painted it. Oh, no big deal. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I walked in there, peed, came out, and my shirt was full of paint. So when Mary paints, I go upstairs. And when Mary paints upstairs, I go downstairs. I cover the doorknobs with tape and the mirror with tape and all that sort of stuff. But when she starts painting, I take myself out to lunch. Why? Because I am not a good painter. But I'm a really good carpet person. I'm a really good carpenter. So I can replace doors, make doors work, etc. That's what I do but she does the rest. So what have we done to make our marriage work? Number one, we've both acknowledged that we're different. But more than that, we celebrate it. And we take advantage of it. And we love each other even more. Well, we've always known that men and women are different. Mm -hmm. Now, I know why. Yeah. And I appreciate your advice on what to do about it. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Yeah. Accept it and, and celebrate it. Yeah. Celebrate it. Say, okay, how can I take advantage of this? How can I, I take advantage I did, of this? I did, I did notice uh, uh, that you never intimated that while there are some general generalized differences between the way uh, uh, that you've expressed that men and women approach things because of the way we are wired, if you will, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. It, there was no indication there, and I suspect that you wouldn't have it, that uh, women and men are any different in their ability to run large organizations oh, yeah. or, or be in the military other than the fact that there may be certain times that uh, one or the other may be unavailable for uh, yeah. one reason or another. Yeah. And so uh, you're not suggesting that at all, are you? I couldn't possibly do what Mary's able to do. I couldn't possibly even think about it. And that's all right. I'm an, an excellent writer and I'm an excellent presenter. Mary cannot possibly do what I do. She just could never, she can hardly read the newspaper. She could never write a book or the four books that I've written. And we take advantage of that. We said, that's all right. That's all right. I'll make my money this way. You make my, your money that way. And there we go. Okay. Great lesson. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.